What's up? What's up, y'all? It's Phil, and it's time for. It's fall, y'all. You know what that means. In Tennessee, it means it goes from 70 degrees one day to 29 degrees the next day. It is cold AF right now, and because I didn't realize that it was going to be freezing, I left all of my batteries, glue, paint, and everything out in the trailer. I also did not plug in the dog's water bowl, so I woke up to a very thirsty puppy who couldn't drink ice, and uh, just about everything in my trailer is frozen. So hopefully in the coming weeks, I can start remembering to bring things in before it freezes, but I had no idea that was going to happen tonight. But this morning, it's already starting to warm up. I've got a heated jacket on, so I'm good to go. And I'm gonna get on my next project. Now, as you've probably heard in every update for the past year, I am behind, mm-hmm. But the thing is, uh, I'm actually booking for June of 2021 right now, which is great for me. Um, I actually just hired a second carpenter, and I've already got a part-time guy that helps me out, uh, kind of doing a lot of the grunt work and stuff. But Part of the deal is that he does the grunt work, but he also gets to use the shop. He's learning a lot of stuff. I let him put together a dining table and kind of taught him how to do that with the Festool Domino uh, and the track saw, which he super enjoyed and will advance by learning and doing those things. So I'm excited to be teaching one guy and also have another guy that I can just be like, you go do that and he'll go do it. So while I've got my second carpenter off doing another project, I'm going to take my other guy and go work on our current project, which is a office built-in. We're about halfway through it at this point just because I didn't have time to be worrying about cameras and stuff, so we're going to just start there. Uh, but along with that, I've got these little doggy doors. Now these were built by a different craftsperson in the area. Uh, um, they installed them improperly. They did not really build them to size. One of them pulled completely out of the drywall and they hit each other when they closed. So the client got them when they bought the house and just wanted to keep them because they have a small dog, but they want them refinished, redone, repainted, and reinstalled properly. So I'm going to be doing that uh, along with this other project. She also has a couple of barn doors and one of the reasons I didn't record much at the beginning of this is because this started with two large office built-ins, some barn doors, and some handyman work and drop down to a set of dual barn doors, a bathroom barn door, one office built in that's a little bit smaller, and this doggy door debacle. And that's it. So it didn't change much, but it changed enough that I really had to get my head around it, and that's why I didn't record much, so sorry. But now I am ready to go. I've got the wood-burning stove going, so it's going to keep my shop warm. We're going to head out this morning, get some install done, and then get going on this project so we can get the office part finished up, come back here, and work on all the barn doors. Let's go!
It is installation day, and I am excited because I'm here at the client's house in front of the piece. Um, hopefully everything's going to go well today, but I know we have a very long day ahead of us, and it's very early in the morning right now. So, we'll see how this all goes. We've got some door faces and drawers to install. Everything else is pretty much here, and this thing is pretty much done. So this part shouldn't take that long. The client's got some handles for me, which I don't see in the room, so I'm not sure where they are, but we'll get those installed. We're going to install the little baby gates and hopefully get started on the barn door in the master today because I want to try and get all that crap done, but, you know, best laid plans. Things never, ever go my way when it comes to install day. So hopefully we'll be able to get today done by the end of today. So we'll see. <laughs> Just like that, y'all, I am done. This project was interesting. Um, it was supposed to go a little bit quicker than it actually did, uh, but that's okay. That's just kind of the way things go right now. 
we had a lot of barn door drama on this one. It was just a lot of things going wrong that shouldn't have gone wrong. Uh, I had two sets of barn door hardware that didn't get delivered and ended up having to combine uh, two sets into one in the end. It looks fine, but it just, it was, it was weird. It was an odd thing to have to do. I was actually up this morning super early and went to three different Home Depots to try to find the hardware because the first store said they had five and they had one. The second store said they had two and they had none. And the third store said they had eight and they had three. So I bought one at one store, one at the other store and spent about three hours doing that, which was not fun. But by the time I got everything going, we got it installed and it looked great. So I'm pretty sure I've sworn off barn doors at this point, but we will see what the future holds. In the meantime, this was an awesome office for an awesome lady boss, and she super loves it. So, you guys check it out, and also check out some of the other projects I did. Right here. So thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna head out because it is now time for my Thanksgiving vacation. So I have officially checked out both mentally and in the future physically. I'm gonna be going down and visiting some family. So I'm excited for that. I am done with work for now and that's a good thing. Make sure to find me on Instagram. I'm at PMK Woodworking. You can find me on there. Check out the projects before I actually post them. Check out posted you know, projects that I've done and YouTube videos. And also hit me up if you have any questions or want some advice. I'm happy to give it. Always willing to talk about it. Find my business page, PMK Woodworking, on Facebook. If you want to check out some of the stuff I'm doing there. I really don't do a lot on Facebook and I'm kind of off Twitter because I'm getting off the social media thing. But I still do a lot of business stuff on social media, so you'll always see that there. Make sure to like and share these videos and help me grow. And also, if you want to support this channel, hit up the Teespring link down below if you want to buy some merch. And if you go to my Amazon store, you can buy some of the stuff that you actually see me using in these projects and you can get them yourselves, use them for your projects, and a little bit of everything you buy goes to support this channel, which I would super appreciate. So thanks again for watching, y'all. We'll see you next time. Peace.
Hello, I'm Dr. Pierre Chang, and this is the orientation video for a station of the Dharma Initiative called the Green Barn Station. This station will be dedicated to the use and study of all things woodworking and carpentry. And because of your expertise in the field, you, PMK Woodworking, have been chosen to man this station. Now, as your work will involve the use of dangerous machinery, please remember the motto of the station. Your safety is your responsibility, no matter what some guy on YouTube does. On behalf of myself and all of us here at the Dharma Initiative, welcome PMK Woodworking and thank you. Namaste and good luck. <laughs>